Hello my loves and welcome back. And if you're new here then thank you for joining me. Today's video is going to be a core workout, going to be a yoga core workout and we're going to do it a little bit differently. So if you have a headstand bench, a feet up, a headstand stool, whatever you want to call it, grab it and then let's come work out. So if you haven't seen my headstand bench video before, I have one talking about all about the headstand bench, how to use it, why you should use it and I will link that here and there'll also be a link in the description to the headstand bench that I use and some that I recommend. So let's make sure that our headstand bench is on a non-slip surface so make sure that it's on a yoga mat or something where it's not going to slip across the floor and then let's begin. So come into your position. I like to start from the knees. Bring my head into the hole here. The neck is not touching the back of the bench here and come into your downward facing dog or dolphin position here and then draw the navel in, tippy toe your feet in and lift up. This would be your first challenge to your headstand bench workout. So just notice how this feels. Keeping the elbows drawn in, letting the head rest here. No weight or pressure in the head, nothing here in the neck. And then we'll begin. So the first exercise we're going to do, we're going to bend at the hips slightly curve in the spine here and draw the feet down towards the floor. Now they don't have to touch but can they just lightly hover a couple of inches away from the floor and if that's not available then you just come into your L position here maybe slightly lower but you want to think about toward the core about flexing your spine here so you're drawing the navel in towards the spine and letting the pelvis drop here. You're rounding through your back. You're just doing a couple. Let's make this a nice short video for a change. You can always do it a couple of times through if you needed to have a longer core workout in your headstand bench. But challenging yourself here just to move slow and then we'll do one more here and then lift back up beautiful so if you found that that was fine and you wanted a little bit more of a challenge then let's start doing just the left leg towards the floor and then rise back up and then after that we'll repeat with the right leg just the right leg coming towards the floor left leg still long and then come back up and just repeating this little action here just moving one leg at a time Control, breathe, alternating the legs. And the next time your right foot is the one that lowers towards the floor, then let that be the last one. As the legs come up, take a pause. At any time, you can bring the feet back down. You can take a pause in child's pose. And then Take a rest. And then jump back in whenever you are ready. 
coming back up and in, walking back up and then lifting up into your headstand, handstand, whatever you choose to do this as your alternative for. And you can repeat the action that we just did or for a little bit more of a challenge and a little bit of variation, we can do a little split here and bring the feet wide. Now your goal here is can you tap the inside of the knees towards your elbows? Now you want to do that without your elbows flaring out. Can you bring them in and down? Now if they don't connect, that's fine. They don't have to connect. Maybe you're just coming here and that's your variation. You do what you feel you are ready for right now. Now just as we did before, you can carry on with both legs moving together or if you feel like you want more of a challenge, let's just do the left leg first. Right leg will remain up, left leg will come up, right leg will come out. And again, you want it out towards the elbow, but without the elbow coming to meet the knee. Working on that stabilization. We'll do one more. And then draw your knees towards your chest. Bring your feet towards the floor. Walk the legs back. Come into child's pose. Take a couple of breaths. And then rise up. All right, my loves. I hope you enjoyed this short workout using the headstand bench. So these are the four exercises that I suggest that you start off with. If you're struggling with these, then again, stay with both legs together. That's going to be a little bit easier than doing the alternating. So if you enjoyed this, then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And remember my loves that karma is only a bitch if you are. So be nice, be kind and be the change that you want to see in the world.